Hi, I'm Hugo Cole and I manufacture jewelry. And today we're going to make some wedding bands using some old dyes from a company that was manufacturing wedding bands right before the Civil War in this country. And over here are some old hand engraved dyes that the company used. And I found these while searching around for this kind of stuff. And at first I did not know what they were. But through some research, found out what, what they were. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of the tooling with them, so we had to figure out how they were used. One of the things that helped us figure them out is that if you look on the ends there, they taper off slightly on both ends. And if you look at the top there on all of them, they have a groove where a piece of stock would fit inside. We calibrate it in the rolling mill and take an annealed piece of copper stock that we lay on top of it and run it through the mill. Now put it up at an angle to catch it at its most tapered point and then let it take it from me. Well, after we've run it through the mill we have a crude piece. We then trim that to get down to most of just what we want to work with. We anneal that, we bend it, finish the ends and solder them together, trim off the excess material, attach a sprue rod, plate it, make a rubber mold. Here is a finished rubber mold that we used to make this ring. And this allows us to inject wax in there and produce probably 10,000 copies out of this mold before this mold goes bad. So if you want to see this item finished or any of the other things we make, go to our website, filigreerings.com.